Hey guys, how's it going? Dustin here. Coming at you live from the top of the combine. It's a beautiful morning here. It's cold AF, but we're fueling up the combines, getting ready for the day. Combines need fuel and def, and just to check them over, check chains, grease up a few parts, check oil. Fuel truck service truck here. All the things the guy needs. Bring one unit. Fill and fuel. This is deaf, not diesel. It froze last night, so it's cold out here this morning. Went to wash windows, but my squeegee's frozen. Combines are fueled up, but we're not going to start yet. We're waiting for our guy to show up here in the yard. We're... It's not him. Waiting for our guy to show up in the yard, trying a new idea. Um, it's basically a construction heater that blows hot air into the bin along with the aeration fans to help dry down our tough grain. So we don't want to combine this tough grain. We have a lot of it so far. So hopefully we can dry down our wheat that's 16, 17 to dry around 14, 14 and a half. So we'll see how that goes. The diesel heater is in, we're using it as a grain dryer. It's basically just a construction heater pumping hot air into the bin. And then we're gonna run it for most of the day today. No one's even watching it right now because we're gonna start this barley. And then might cycle the grain, take a sample, see if it's dried down any. It should work, I think. The perfect combination on a cold September morning hot chocolate and a heated seat in the combine. Oh yeah. Still a little bit tough out this morning. It's not cutting the best. My butt is on fire. Holy smokes does that thing heat up. Barley is so thick and heavy, it's already starting to break down. It's not standing very well. As you can see, the plants are kind of half broken over. Man, is that good. grain in grain bags it's a form of temporary storage since we don't have enough bins in the yard to fit everything and then once harvest is done later in the fall we'll take the grain out of the bags and store it in the yard or haul it right to the terminal a couple more cartfuls in the barley bag that we're filling will be full and we're gonna seal that guy up throw on a new bag and start a new one on this field bag's almost full so I'm gonna catch a ride to the bag it's at the other end of the field fill this bag and then I'll be back in here where'd your legs go okay so I guess Ronnie's been driving back to the yard and checking the heater so I don't have to check it This is a 
bag here. The cart empties into the hopper up top. The cart can unload as fast as it wants because the bagger will take it faster than it can unload. And it pumps it into the plastic bag, 300 foot bag. And then there's brakes on the bagger and that's what allows the grain to pull into the bags and expand it. And then that means the tractor is in neutral and the tractor slowly curls along and is pushed by the pressure of the grain in the bag. We're going to pull ahead and seal this guy up. It actually works pretty slick how the grain can fit in a long plastic bag. And when it works well, like there's hardly any losses. Sometimes the grain can leak out at the corners. And then another downfall is if you leave them out too long, like deer and raccoons and stuff can make holes in the bag. And then you have grain everywhere. But if you clean them up right away and there's no leaks when you put them up, they actually work pretty slick. I wonder who thought of that, putting grain in a plastic bag. Okay, we got the new bag on here. Just had to put some boards along the end and fold them under so the bag doesn't flip out. That's how you seal the end. 
a little bit in the cart to start this bag. Todd is right full of barley. He's gonna come and dump. So we'll get a good start on this bag here. Now once there's enough pressure in the bag with the brakes, it'll start moving the track. There's not enough in there yet for it to start moving. Also try to find the flattest part of the field to put these bags pretty good right there. Oh, there's my combine that I get to run to after this. Try to avoid those. So we got a pretty good spot here as long as the deer stay out of it. Here. See what we got. Holy smokes! Oh man! We're gonna finish this barley field tonight. That bag will be about half full. It's about six o'clock. We're supposed to shut that heater off. Uh, I think Grandpa's gonna go do that if he didn't already. And then we're gonna fire that heater up again tomorrow morning and run it throughout the day. I'm gonna to continue to stuff my face and combine some barley. Thank God this thing drives itself. <laughs> 